Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Preferred Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Editor version 3, HMVC tutorial for beginners. This is our part 3. Inside this video session guys, we are ready to create our first module inside this HMVC modular based programming. In the last two videos, something called part 1 and the part 2, we had seen about the folder setup as well as about the modular files overview. Now inside this video, we are going to create our first module. So back to browser. Now as we can see that currently we are adding our we are running our code igniter HMVC project inside our local host. Now inside this code igniter HMVC, we are going to make our custom modules inside this application setup. Back to code editor. Now inside this code editor last time actually we have made this mycontroller.php file. Now inside this application folder how can we actually start to make our custom modules. So back to slide. Go to next step. Now how can we create our first module. So firstly we need to create a modules folder inside application folder. So back to editor. Now inside this application folder, I am to create a folder and that folder is something known as modules. Now inside this modules, we have to create our separate module and each module contains the folders of controllers, views and the models. These are the folders of each respective module. So back to editor. Inside these modules, right now it is empty, so we are going to create our first module and let's say that this is known as welcome. Or let's say that this is known as simply, let's say message.php. Oh, sorry, this is not actually a file, this should be a folder. So inside the folder name, we don't actually have to put about .php extension. Now this is our first module. Now inside this message module folder, we have to create three folders more inside this module folder and the first folder is something about the controllers, respective controllers and again respective let's say models. Again we have respective views. Now we need to place all the respective controllers, models and the views for this module inside this module folder. Now this is our first module structure what we have created. So back to slide. So firstly we need to create a modules folder inside application folder. Now inside that modules folder we have to create separate module wise folder. So first module we have created. Inside the first module we have to create our respective folders for our controllers, views and the models. By going through these two steps, we are ready to create our first module. So back to editor and inside this controllers, we are going to create our first controller of this first module and let's say that message.php and try to keep about the name of the controller at the module folder name. Now inside this, we are going to define our PHP tag and let's say class message and it extends and remember we have made our controller and something called my controller so we need to extend inside this modular based controllers now inside this the first thing first we need to define our construct function so public function construct and let's say that parent construct now we have defined our message controller now let's say that we are simply define a message. So let's say public function and let's say that so underscore message and it simply equal let's say inside this h3 tag let's say h3 this is my simple message for this first module. Now if I put semicolon, now we have defined successfully a method inside this message controller. So how can we run this message controller or the module to our browser? So firstly we need to create the route first. So back to config, go to routes.php file and inside this file, 
if I get rid of all these comments first and let's say that here modular based routes and inside this let's say route and here let's say simple hyphen message and this route basically calls let's say our simple or this is message this is our controller name or the folder name what we have specified inside our modules folder and inside this message we need to call about the method ma method called so underscore message so save all these changes copy this route back to our browser and inside this address URL if I put index.php forward slash and the simple message so press enter now as we can see that this is our code what actually we are running from our modules folder and remember this is the first module what we have created with the name as known as message module so here we have created our first module and the respective route of that let's say that we are not going to use this route to run this method we are going to directly open this method to our browser so how can we open that so copy this method go to browser and remember instead of this route we have called message controller and so message as the method press enter now this is the same output what we are getting previously before making this route so let's say again simple message now inside this all we have done about message controller and inside this module we have more folders called models and the views we will use about models in our upcoming videos let's see that how can we use about views folder so let's say that inside this controller message controller and to define let's say public function and let's say that simple message this is our method name now inside this method I'm going to define or let's say our content let's say message and inside this message let's say that simple view message I am writing and if I save all these changes and remember in the same way what is the structure for calling a view we are going to use inside this method so what is the basic structure this load view and inside this view we have to pass our view name but remember this time our views does not reside inside this views folder this is our default views folder of code igniter setup this time our views folder resides inside this message module so how can we call call that simply we need to type about the module name something called message and the view file name so let's say that simple hyphen message and I'm going to pass our content array so if I copy this name go to views folder and create our file something called simple message dot php now inside this file let's say that inside h4 tag let's say welcome to first module view file and one more variable actually we are passing from this controller and simply call message so copy the name and inside this paragraph tag I'm going to make use of that so php echo and the message variable all we have done now successfully we have defined a method inside this method we have called the view file but before calling the view file remember firstly we have to pass our module name and inside this module file name view file name we have passed a variable and successfully we have received that let's make a route of that so copy pasting the this and let's say so message and this so message basically calling our simple message controller so pasting this and go here reload this page and instead of simple message actually we need to change about so hyphen message pressing enter now as we can see that welcome to the first module view file and this is the value we are passing our from our message controller 
So successfully guys we had said about the first module inside this modules folder. Let's summarize once more what actually we have studied so far. For creating any modules to our HMVC architecture, we have to create a modules folder inside this application setup. While creating this modules folder, if you want to create our module, then respective module will be reside inside this modules folder. And each respective module contain folders of controllers, models and the views. And respective controllers has its definition extending about my controller and this is the my controller we have defined inside this core folder and remember this extends about MX controller parent controller of HMVC modular based programming. Next we have seen about how can we make use of call of our views files as well as to print our simple messages. All we have seen inside this video. So inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day.